that's possible, mm -hmm. but that's not where the situation is at the moment. Okay. All we know is that the mathematical descriptions that we make of, let's say, single cell processes mm -hmm. and the, the branches from the single cells and how they interact with the, each other, mm -hmm. not only anatomically, but actually functional interactions, mm -hmm. that uh, when we map those, we get a description that is very similar to the description of quantum events. Uh -huh. When you take into account that there are billions of these single cells That's right. operating in the and, brain. And the connections between them. Mm -hmm. So there are even more, there are trillions of connections mm -hmm. between them. And they operate on the basic principles that have been found to also operate at quantum level. Actually, it was the other way around. That the mathematics that Gabor used, he borrowed from Heisenberg and Hilbert, who mm -hmm. developed them first in mathematics for Hilbert, and then Heisenberg used it uh, in quantum mechanics, and then Gabor used it in psychophysics, and we've used it in modeling how brain mm -hmm. networks work. So, in, in other words, in the brain, when we look at the electrical impulses traveling through the neurons and the patterns as is, is these billions of neurons interact, you would say that that is analogous, I suppose, or isomorphic to the processes that are going on at the deeper quantum level. Yes. Uh, they obey the same rules. Mm -hmm. They obey the same rules. It's not just mm -hmm. an analogy because yeah. the work that describe these came independently mm -hmm. of, see an analogy would be that you take the quantum ideas and see how they fit to the brain, the data we have yes. on the brain. Yes. And that's not the way it happened. Mm -hmm. We got the brain data first yes. and then we see, uh, look, it fits the It'll same mathematics. So it, uh, the people who are gathering these data, including myself, weren't out to look for an, uh, an analogous mm -hmm. process. And I think it's a very important yeah. point because otherwise you could be biased and there are lots of different models that fit mm -hmm. how the brain works. But this is more based on how the brain was found to work independent of these conceptions.